Hi, my name is Pierre Morier. Because my name is spelled this way, my presentation falls between Mager and Murray. So I'm just going to run away right now. <laughs> Having said that, though, I'm here to talk about flexibility charts. Very easy. Indicate employees up the top the skills that they are required to uh, perform either in the existing environment or in a new environment and make a determination of how well are they able to do the job, are they fully competent, can they do it with training or can they not do it. This will enable you to identify strategic risks. For example, here's only one person who can do the job. Uh, none of them can do it with training. Here's, for example, a whole bunch of people who can do it with training. Would that be a training opportunity? And how about this person here who cannot do anything? This is really easy to read, so you'll see it in the handouts, which are not included in the packet, but available down at the bottom. Purpose of this tool is to do a quick and dirty view of human, re human resource capacity. It can be used to determine training needs, impl implement organizational ch change, critical when you're doing process improvement, find out if you have the skills that you need, succession planning, assessing uh, capacities, and so on. And I think, oh, I still have plenty of time. Um, Okay, so let's take a breather. <laughs> I want to see what this looks like from down here, actually. Okay, managers can use this either in the existing framework or the way it should be. And they, can, they rate their employees in each department, as you can see here. And then they uh, find out how to fill the gap. Thank you very much.